Looking to set up your very own learning management system? Whether you're a solo educator or part of a large organization, Moodle is here to revolutionize your online learning experience. In this quick guide, I'm walking you through how to install Moodle on an Ubuntu server. By the end of this video, you'll have your own Moodle site up and ready to go, fast and easy. Okay, first up, connect to your Ubuntu server using SSH. Don't worry, all the commands I mentioned are in the blog post linked below, so no need to memorize anything. Just copy and paste them when you're ready. Once connected, update your server's package list and upgrade all the installed software to make sure it's up to date. Next, we need to set up Moodle's environment. It needs a web server, a database, and PHP, plus a few extensions. One single command will install everything you need. Just head to the blog post, copy that command, and paste it into your terminal. Done? Great. Let's move on. All right, now it's time to grab Moodle itself. Download the Moodle installation directly to your server. Once again, the exact command is in the blog post. All right, now that you've downloaded Moodle, the next step is to move it into the right place. Specifically, we're moving it to the web server's root directory. Copy the command from the blog post, paste it into your terminal, and hit enter. After that, navigate to the directory where you just placed Moodle and extract the files. Again, the exact commands are in the blog post. Super easy. Now, let's set up the Moodle data directory. This is a special folder where Moodle stores uploaded files, temporary data, and more. First, you'll navigate one directory up to the www folder. Next, create a folder called Moodle data. This is where all the magic happens. Finally, grant the proper permissions to the web server user. This ensures Moodle can read and write files as needed. Now it's time to get your database ready for Moodle. First, log into MySQL as the root user. Once inside, you'll create a new database specifically for Moodle. Make sure to set it up with the proper character set for compatibility. Next, you'll create a user for Moodle and assign it the necessary privileges. Replace the placeholder password with something secure. You want this to stay locked down. Finally, save your changes by flushing the privileges and exiting MySQL. And just like that, your database is ready to roll. Now comes the exciting part, finishing the setup in your browser. Open your favorite browser and head to your server's Moodle URL. Follow the setup wizard step-by-step. Step. You'll select your language, configure the data directory, and plug in the database details from step five. It's intuitive, but take your time to double check everything. All right, let's tackle a couple of common setup hurdles. First, if Moodle tells you it can't write the config.php file, no worries. Navigate to the Moodle directory using the command from the blog post. Then manually create the file with nano. Copy the configuration provided by Moodle. And save it. Just hit Control S to save and Control X to exit. Done? Awesome. Next, restart Apache to apply the changes. Again, there's a command for that in the blog post. Copy, paste, and you're good to go. Now, if Moodle complains about max input vars being too low, you'll need to update your PHP configuration. Open the php.ini file in nano and search for max input vars. Remove the semicolon at the beginning and set the value to 5000. Save your changes, exit nano, and restart Apache once more. Okay, you're in the home stretch now. Refresh the Moodle setup page in your browser and continue with the installation wizard. Moodle is now installed on the server. The process will take two to three minutes. Here's where you'll create your admin account. 
set a username, a strong password, and an email address. Then, name your Moodle site. Once the installation wraps up, Moodle will guide you through some additional settings like the support email. Fill those in, save your changes, and you're all set. Congratulations, your Moodle site is officially live and ready to go. Now you can start customizing your site, creating courses, and welcoming your learners.